Good morning, Lifestyle. Uh, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to request review for your new listing. So when you get a listing, you need a couple of documents. So you need the seller's disclosure. You also need the listing agreement, and you need a copy of the seller's ID, okay? So the first thing you got to do is make sure you have your clients in your CRM. Okay. So once you have your client added in your CRM, you want to create a transaction for your listing. So if you guys have seen my videos before, if you don't have any transactions here, you're going to have a blue lettering letting you know that you can open a transaction from here or you can go to actions and create a transaction. So please make sure that you put the right person you're representing. In this case, we're gonna do the seller and specify if there's any HOA or not. For this case, there's no HOA, okay? Then we'll go ahead and create the transaction, clicking here the blue. I already have the transaction created, so let's go there real quick. So this is my transaction for my seller. So you have, you know, seller, the transaction is active. You have all documents here. These other people uh, related to the transaction. Okay, for right now, we only have the seller's information. Once we get a buyer, we start adding everything else up. Okay, the property, of course, in the beginning, you're not gonna have this MLS number until you create it. But after you create it and it's active, you can uh, paste the MLS number here and it'll fetch the info. For right now, in the financials, all you're gonna have is the, the listing price. This is obviously, it's going to change later on once you get an offer. But for right now, just the listing price. Nothing here yet, no bonus commission yet, and no dates because these dates are these dates reflect when you get an offer. So, you know, your, your effective day of the contract, inspection date, all that stuff. So this is going to be utilized when you get an offer. Accepted, of course. And the end goal here um, is to request a review for your listing, for a manager to review the documents that you have uploaded in Total Brokerage for them to, to activate your listing. So we go to task. Now, you gotta make sure you pick the right one. So you're gonna have different ones. You're gonna have close residential sale, close rental, rental listing, sale listing. This is the one that um, is applicable for this case. So we're gonna click this one and we wanna click save. All right, so now we'll start uploading all the documents. So we've got the property information. So you can see the turtle goes, is, is moving and you got the service disclosure. You got the client's ID. We have the listing agreement. The affiliated business disclosure. This document is going to be needed for every transaction, Scott, for every transaction, guys. So make sure you get it signed by your client. This is just a reminder that you know that you need pictures for your listing. And once you create the MLS, uh, make a copy in PDF file and put it in the transaction as well. And then after you do all of that, this blue button request review is going to populate. Remember, the total will never get to 100%. It will only get to 100% when the listing is approved. So once you have all these documents uploaded in total brokerage and uploaded here in the task tab, click request review, and your managers will be notified automatically going into the transaction, review all documents and activating your listing. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Always remember, you can always give me a call, text me at 786-366-9329, or you can email me at pablo at the gomezgrp.com. All right, guys, have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.